In this video, we're gonna talk about all things related to countdown timers. Probably one of the most requested questions I get when it comes to live streaming is where do you get these countdown timers from? How do you create these countdown timers? How do you use them? So in this video, I'm gonna tackle all those questions and walk you through step by step on countdown timers. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. My name is Monty Weaver, and I'm here to help navigate you through digital, tech, and social media. So if you need assistance in any of those areas, definitely consider hitting that red subscribe button and also hit that bell. That way you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, before I walk you through the easy step-by-step -step process of using your countdown timer and actually showing you where you can download a bunch of these, I first wanna take a step back and explain to you the reasons to consider using one. Now, when I first got started live streaming, one of the things that my audience really liked was the fact that I gave them time to get ready for the live stream. So if you're a content creator, if you're an entrepreneur, or maybe a nonprofit in a church, one of the things that you can definitely implement into your live stream is the use of a countdown timer. So many times people might know when you're going live. So if you go live every Sunday at 10 a.m., they know to show up, but maybe you can't be exactly at 10 a.m. Maybe your schedule as an entrepreneur is a little bit more flexible. And so your live stream broadcast might happen at different times of the day, different days of the week. If you just randomly show up, it's very difficult for your audience to just show up immediately. But if you use a countdown timer, it allows your audience time to stop what they're doing, to get prepared, and to get ready to listen to your message, what it is that you have to say. It also allows you time to troubleshoot any issues that you might have. Maybe there's issue with your sound, maybe there's issue with your audio. The use of a countdown timer actually allows you to test it out in real time. Because rather than just testing out your video camera or your audio source, you'll actually see it because your countdown timer is acting as those elements to begin with. So this countdown timer not only is great for your audience to get prepared, but it also allows you to get that final check of all your systems before you show up live on the camera screen. So that's the main reason that you really wanna use a countdown timer. You can definitely choose how long you want your countdown timer to be. Maybe you wanna run some pre-roll commercials before your audience really engages with your content. So maybe running a five minute countdown timer or maybe even a 10 minute countdown timer. This allows your audience to show up, get ready, and even communicate in the chat ahead of time, which also helps your overall engagement and helps on the algorithms for Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope. Now let's start by setting up your countdown timer. If you wanna use a countdown timer, this is not going to be a mobile-based application. So everything I'm about to say here on out through this video and pretty much in all of my videos is based on the fact that you will use a computer or a laptop. I definitely do not promote any type of mobile devices when it comes to actually the production side of video and live streaming. They're great to be used as extra camera sources, but not to actually run your production. So just keep that in mind through the rest of this video. So we're gonna actually jump into a software called Open Broadcaster Studio. Now, if you're not familiar with this software, I'll link to it above this video where I did a training on how to actually use it. So that's the software that we're going to use for the rest of this video. But this same process can be done in other platforms such as vMix or Wirecast, which I use on a regular basis. So we're gonna jump into the computer screen and I'm actually gonna bring in countdown timers step by step so you can actually see how to do it. Now that we have our OBS software open, we're gonna bring in our new countdown timer element. Simply by going to the scene section, creating a brand new scene that we'll call countdown, selecting okay, and going to our sources section, hitting the plus sign, and going to media source. What we're gonna do is bring in a pre-done countdown timer. And the same countdown timer, I'm gonna share with you where you can download it for free and bring it into your next broadcast. Select media source, and we'll name this countdown. And this countdown timer that we're gonna use happens to be 10 minutes. 
and we're gonna select OK. And then we're going to browse to the location of this file. And this is just simply an MP4 video file. We're going to select that file and select OK and select OK again. Now with OBS, I always recommend to close the program and to reopen it if you don't see your element added when you first do it. So we're gonna close the program and reopen the program. And you see that our countdown timer is showing up now. As you can see here, it has a green background, which we'll talk about in a second. And it has the word starting in and a full countdown timer. So you can use this exact countdown timer as it is for your next broadcast if you wanted to. But I can't leave you there. I gotta show you some more. So what we're gonna do is add some elements to it. So for example, if you're a church getting ready to start your broadcast, what we're gonna do is bring in another file. We're gonna select the plus sign under sources and we're gonna go to image. This is going to be our Bible background image. Select OK, and we're gonna do the same thing. Navigate to where our image is located. In this case, it's on our desktop, and we're gonna select OK. And we're simply going to stretch out this so it takes up the entire 16 by nine real estate, so it looks good for our broadcast. Readjust it and center it. And now we have our background ready to go but you can see that the entire image is covering our countdown timer. So in order to change this, all we simply do is go into our sources section and use the up and down arrows to readjust the levels. Now our countdown timer is back on the top layer. Now in order to get rid of the green, we're gonna use the chroma effect. And this is why I really love using green screen countdown timers because you can put anything behind it. They can be images or it can be video files, it can be anything. Maybe you wanna add music to this. You can actually select the plus sign and go into audio input or media source depending on your audio and bring in an audio file to have music with your countdown timer. But let's get rid of the green first. We're gonna right click on countdown 10 minute, select filters, go to effect filters and select the plus sign and then select chroma key. Select okay and it will remove the green from our background and you can see now we have a nice looking countdown timer with our image. We're gonna grab the red dots on the countdown timer and readjust and move it. And so now we can have our transition ready to go for a nice looking countdown timer when our broadcast is set to begin. But maybe you wanna do a little bit more. Maybe you wanna have a little bit more action going on. We're gonna remove our background and we're gonna bring in a video file that's already pre-done. You can navigate to it by selecting media source, selecting okay. We're going to browse for our video file that we want. Select the file, select okay. And again, we're gonna close OBS and reopen it. And you can see this is a conference that we had and we're going to readjust the levels by using the up and down arrow. And you can see our countdown timer now can be placed anywhere on the screen. And what we're gonna do is darken the background so the countdown timer shows better. Right clicking on the media source, going into our filters, selecting the plus sign. And we're gonna go into our color correction and we're gonna take away some of the brightness here. And now our countdown timer shows brighter. So using a countdown timer is a great way to bring in different elements to enhance your video before you even get started.
So as you can see, if you have a video file that's already pre-done for you, it's super easy to bring that into your platforms to start live streaming with that specific countdown timer. But maybe 10 minutes is too long for you. Maybe you need something shorter or maybe 10 minutes is too short and you need something longer. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can actually create the timer, the length of time inside of OBS as well. So let's jump back into the computer and walk through that. So we're gonna start with a brand new fresh screen again. And we're gonna go into our sources and media source. And I wanna bring in one of my graphics that I already have pre-done. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop, select this chasing red graphic, turn on the loop function so that it continues to loop over and over and over and select okay. And again, by now you should know to close OBS and reopen it. That way you can see your actual graphic. And you can see right now there is no words, there is no timer. So let's create the time. We'll select the plus sign under sources. We'll go to text. We'll select OK. And we're going to leave this blank. OK, we're going to leave it blank and select OK. Then we're gonna to navigate to the top and select tools. We're gonna to select scripts. And then we're gonna select the plus sign. We're gonna look for countdown.lua and select open. Then we're gonna click on countdown.lua. And this is where we can change the duration of our countdown timer. So let's say we want a three minute countdown timer. Our text source will be our text GDI. And our final text, we're gonna remove this because we don't want anything to show up once our countdown reaches zero. Then we're gonna close. Then we're gonna hit transition so we can see our time. And now we've created our own time for when our expiration will occur. Now, we don't necessarily want the leading zero, so we'll crop this out. And again, if you don't know how to crop it out, make sure you check out the other video or check out the course that goes through OBS in more detail. And now we can align our timer where we want it to be. And we can create another text element. Go into text. And we'll call this begin. And we'll say broadcast will begin in. We can align this center, select OK, add that more center there. We can add a graphic again if we want to. So we'll go back to image. We'll browse for another graphic on our desktop. Select OK. Again, our image is on top, so we want to simply click it and move it to the bottom layer. Hit transition. And now we've created a brand new custom countdown timer. So by now you can see that you can use pre-done countdown timers or you can simply make your own countdown timer and how easy it really is. I love using free software and I love giving you free stuff. So below this video, there's gonna be a link where it'll take you to my website and you can actually download a bunch of these countdown timers that are already pre-made and use them for your next live stream broadcast. But I want you to let me know in the comment section below what you're gonna use your countdown timer for. Are you gonna use it for your business page, maybe your church page, maybe you're managing live stream broadcasts for clients. Let me know in the comment section what you're gonna be using that countdown timer for. I hope you got some value from this video. I hope this training helps you enhance your overall live stream broadcast. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button, hit that bell. That way you'll receive notifications every single time I upload a brand new video. And if there's something that you need assistance with when it comes to your live stream, let me know. Let me know what I can help you with here on YouTube. My name is Monty Weaver and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.